Your name? Uh, State Senator Jim Furlow, F-E-R-L-O, from the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, good. And you have an organization of state legislators? Or? Well, we began a process of about a year ago of reaching out to state legislators all across the United States. We sent out a, a national mailing, a call to action asking uh, state legislators. It's an ad hoc organization, uh, but roughly 100 plus state legislators from 35 states signed on to an appeal to the 111th Congress and to President Obama, and an appeal centered on the need for urgent action on fundamental health care reform, specifically zeroing in and supporting uh, the single-payer H.R. 676, Congressman John Conyers bill. Uh, there are hundreds of folks that have signed on around the country. Uh, in addition, these legislators, as you well know, uh, many grassroots organizations, national organizations, uh, religious union, community, city council, state legislators, all have passed authorizing resolutions uh, in support of single payer. You mentioned you, you represent the Oakland area of Pittsburgh. Well, I represent a very interesting state senate district, a three-county area, including the city of Pittsburgh. I pointed out earlier at this press conference that in the fourth ward, which is the heart of the UPMC, University of Pittsburgh Medical Center Healthcare Empire, the university community fourth ward being Oakland, uh, you have this high concentration of billion-dollar-plus healthcare uh, delivery systems from primary, secondary, and tertiary care. And that ward, the fourth ward, also includes some low-income uh, communities right around the peripheral university-based community. And you have this extreme of this powerhouse uh, billion-dollar concentration of the healthcare dollar and technology, and yet in that same fourth ward, uh, you have the highest levels of infant mortality and infant morbidity rates for the whole city of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. It's just a contrast. It's kind of an illustration of the contradictions in the current healthcare industry and the system that is so dysfunctional, a system that we uh, fundamentally want to change through making a, a Medicare for all. We, you know, we're here to celebrate the 44th anniversary of the passage of federal Medicare. Uh, nobody calls that socialistic. Nobody in the Congress is looking to undermine or take, take away Medicare from older residents in this country. Uh, and they're trying to demonize uh, the single-payer system as being socialized medicine. It basically is extending the Medicare system them, but to all the unemployed and uninsured, excuse me, uh, folks in the United States of America today. Are you, are you convinced that the majority of your cons constituents, majority of the people in the city of Pittsburgh support single payer? I think majority of my folks understand and want fundamental health care reform. They believe that health care should be a right, not a privilege. They understand they have to pay either taxes or premiums to get that. They want fundamental change. Whether or not they know the specificity of actual single payer, probably not. If but they if, knew, would they support it? Oh, I think overwhelmingly. I mean, it's my job as an elected official, and I've been out there every day in every way trying to explain the elements of single payer, and that's really what this grassroots movement is. You know, I have a couple hundred Pittsburghers down here today with me taking part in a rally at 1 o'clock in the Upper Center Senate Park. Uh, there's a couple hundred people that came down, but they really represent a, uh, several thousands of people who have been mobilized in Pittsburgh, attending seminars and conferences. We've had action after action, picket lines, demonstrations. Yes, I think there's broad-based support uh, the, uh, uh, for a fundamental reform and I think people want health care to be a right not a privilege and I, and I think they know that we need to basically take the Medicare system take what works and extend it logically so that we can cover all the 50 million uninsured and more importantly even those folks who have some element of health insurance are underinsured or they have pre-existing conditions so there are fundamental changes that people want whether or not they know the actual language of single payer maybe not but they, they uh, clearly and the majority want that kind of change. And in fact, polling done even with physicians' organizations. I know the AMA seems to dominate because of their power, their clout, their PR money, and working with big pharmacy and political action committees. But 69% uh, of physicians recently polled uh, indicated they believe fundamentally in a single-payer type system. So finally, you, you're urging your member of Congress and Congress today to defeat Obamacare, why? Well, I am specifically, I speak for myself as an elected right. state senator, so but most of the people that I represent that are proponents of the single-payer system do not want any backward, half-baked uh, half uh, plan that's being debated now in the House of Congress. As nebulous as that plan is, it will be not be uh, cost-effective. It will not reach the intended audience of insuring the uninsured. It will set us back in building a progressive uh, delivery system. It will not lay the groundwork for building a wellness system and not the uh, hospital-based curative system that we have now, which is costly. Uh, and it's not going to improve the overall health care indicators and standards for the American public. We have the most expensive health care system in the world, and we do not rank well commensurate with that cost 
in major health care indicators. So it has to change, and people would rather see fundamental reform than any half-baked notion of a national plan similar, similar to like the Massachusetts model, which has now been discredited. Thank you.